thoughts of Pat Nevin and Craig Patterson along with Dougie Donnelly coming up at a half time. No nil here, Celtic trailing on aggregate. And Guermo onto Fortuny. McDonald's inside the box, McGeady too. Bernat trying to close him down, back onto Hinkle. That's a good ball across, should be for Celtic. It is! Brilliant goal from Scott McDonald. Absolutely tremendous play from Celtic. Celtic are back in the tie. Dinamo Moscow, no, Celtic won. What a fantastic goal there by Celtic. A great play through the middle of the park. And Guermo's found it. The ball's been played inside to Andy Hinkle. He's flicked it to the back post here. McDonald on his own. Straight header, bottom corner. The ties all square. Well, he set up the equaliser against Spartak Moscow. He goes one better here with a goal. It's a, one of the first crosses. Look, it's come over, missed the defenders, back post. Not sure whether he even took a wee deflection off the, the defenders. He headed it down the way. No, it missed. Kaloran came there. across, couldn't get him murdered, couldn't get him at all. Celtic talked about it, trying to get the ball into the box well. They thought they could cause problems, they've done so. What a great time to score a goal as well. 60 seconds to the break. Celtic lead in Moscow. Yeah, they've been the better side in the first 45 minutes, but the, the, the final ball into the box, they've been struggling with it. But now, first time they've got the ball deep to the back post there, and Scott McDonald finishing off a really good move. Danger time, Celtic have to be careful here. Luke Wilkshire. Dinamo trying to strike back immediately. It's a decent ball in the box, and Lubens turns it behind on the home side. On the strange ground for them. Up the corner. Yeah, first time that the ball's been in, it's not been dealt with there. Just flicked away for the, the corner kick. But Celtic, this is when they've got to go on their guard. Right on half time, they've just got themselves in front. Won't give it away. One minute of additional time to be played. Dimitri Kumbarov goes across to take. In Barth, the fourth official this evening. And the Swedish crew. Kerzakov played it in, he got a nice touch on. Breaks on Kokorov. Almost in. Hinkle was on the post. And Guermo has to slash at the ball to get it away. And Celtic were struggling there, but they were resolute in the end. And the free kick's going to be given against Guermo for the challenge. First but time in the half that Celtic had been struggling at the back there, Paul. Just couldn't get a hold of the ball to clear it. But Dynamo pushing everyone forward now. Just to try, try and get a goal right on half time. Well, Coco for four goals this term. And Celtic were going to clear it and broke back to him. Hit it on the right foot. Hinkle was there. Lodden goes for it. Off oh, like a traction engine. And we're finished like a traction engine as well, thankfully. They take that all the time. Right on half time. Under pressure. Free kick in a dangerous area. And someone having a goal from about 40 yards high over the crossbar. I don't think the cameraman was too chuffed on <laughs> not at all. Well, the referee has decided that the half-time whistle will be blown before the goal kick is taken. It's been good news for Celtic in the city of Moscow. Dinamo in Moscow against Celtic. Scott McDonald has the goal. That's why they're happy. Half-time, Dinamo Moscow nil. Celtic won. They look sharp. Georgia Samaras. 23 goals and 62 for Celtic. Really on the shoulder, the last defender. Couldn't get the better that time. Well, the fullback. Lewis. Three minutes to play. Uh, scored with two minutes to play in the first half. A little repeat here, and Celtic. Can make a little bit of history. Fox over the top. Pass was meant for Maloney. It's either going to be a corner or a throw. He'll accept the throw, Sean Maloney. Good ball again from Danny Fox. He's played very well tonight, left back. Fox into Brown. He needs a runner off him. And Carrodden wasn't messing around there either. He was quite happy to concede yeah. the corner. He's caused problems for a midfielder playing up front. He's caused problems for the defenders. He's been running into good areas. Well, Celtic might just have 300 fans here, but you can almost feel the fans back home willing them on. You can see Peter Grant from our vantage point waving <laughs> furiously at his side. 
corner and the goalkeeper comes for it again. It's the punch. Samaras wins the header. Culloden nods it away. McGinney poised. Back to Fox. And Guemel sends it long. Gary Caldwell waiting. Caldwell, Celtic looking for a second goal. Good old Trafford in Manchester last time they got two in a European tie away from home. They're pressing again. Caldwell knocks it down. Any takers pushed away. It was like the line Leuvens who'd stayed forward. Fox on the angle. Samaras trying to get him behind. Good play by Granats. Giving the Greek any chance to get past him there. Yeah, just trying to push themselves forward there, Celtic, but they had to be careful at the back. It was one and one, one for one. They left there. Uh, the striker, so they've got to be careful, they just don't keep on pushing forward, trying to gamble just now. Celtic were due to leave Moscow by midnight tonight. They won't make that. I'm sure they'll settle for the extra 30 minutes if it comes their way. Unless they find a goal scorer who's got a plane to catch. Maloney. Works it through, Brown waits for it, touches it back to Maloney, this is it for Celtic, Maloney still going, and the goalkeeper makes the save. Brilliant interchange, Brown and Maloney, and Sean Maloney was inches away from making it 2-0. Unbelievable. Brown was fantastic there, holding the ball up, playing the one-two edge of the box. He's, Maloney's driven in there by a defender, and the goalkeeper somehow kept a hold of it. Four minutes of additional time to be played. It is swinging Celtic's way. Can they capitalise? That's the question now. Well, they've got to keep on looking for it. Decent balls into the box. They've had so many players at the edge of the box, they've put balls into the box, and Sean Maloney was just so unfortunate there. Here we go, we're watching Sean Maloney driving in there, just trying to get ball, he's stuck under his feet. No great pace, straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. I thought it was in, I thought he'd done it. Yeah. Can it set up here, going into the box? Culloden again away, good touch, McCorum was there, just lashed forward, Samaras is there, Georgios Samaras, what's the touch, he's going across, can he finish? Yes, yes he can, Georgios Samaras! His first European goal for Celtic, it's a historic goal for Celtic, Dinamo Osco nil, Celtic 2. Quite unbelievable, absolutely fantastic football, great build-up, and the ball just played in, Samaras back post there, inside three defenders there, and he just... Cut the ball back, bottom left-hand corner, 2-0 Celtic. He is the man for Celtic tonight, the substitution made by Tony Mowbray, one goal scorer for another, and Georgia Samaras sends the Celtic fans into green and white heaven. Tremendous. Yeah, what a time to score as well. Just before half-time, they went 1-0 up into the second half, looking to go to added time. And now Samaras, wonderful. Look at the skill there by the first defender, second defender, kept his eye on the ball there. Bottom left-hand corner, goalkeeper, he's at full stretch, he's right across his goal. But into the bottom corner, great finish. Pinpoint accuracy from Georgia Samaras, and Celtic have the second goal they craved. They've got two minutes to hold out now, Celtic. Dynamo Moscow going after it, and thump wide. What a night this has been for Celtic. Well, you asked the man that wanted an early play, and you just, he just answered you. Samaras there, it's... Two great changes by the manager. You know, Scott Brown going on, playing off the front and then up front. Samaras going on at the right time and he's produced the goods, he's scored the goal. And now Celtic, but by, by far tonight, the better side, both halves. Around 12,000 people are being outsung by 300. Samaras, first European goal for Celtic. And boy, does it count. Really important because you're we looking at extra time. Celtic with the better side, not to be able to break down the Dynamo side in the second half. But for me, the, the football has been much better. They've kept a hold of the ball. Players have been creating chances. Well, it's now a question: Does Celtic go through, winning on aggregate, on on away goals? It really matters not. It doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm sure Tony Mowbray just now will be absolutely delighted. We spoke to him before the game. He was looking forward to the match. He was relaxed and. Uh, he knew it could go either way if he said produced it, the goods, if they could put the ball in the net, he could win on the night, and they've managed to do that. Well, the Celtic players know the significance of this. They're huddled round the injured player at the moment. 
The referee looks at his watch. Well, Martin O'Neill didn't have Champions League football in his first season at Celtic. He inherited a side that qualified for the FA Cup. Gordon Strachan led his side unsuccessfully against Dark Media in his first season. They lost 5 0. I really should have won. I mean, they, I know they won at Celtic Park, but they should have gone through for my money. Tony Mowbray, first season, inherited a chance at the group stages, but like Gordon Strachan in trouble after a first leg defeat. He's turning it around. Well, we spoke about it, Paul, at Celtic Park. The way Celtic played, the amount of chances they created, you felt same type of performance, create chances, and you'll get through tonight. And a lot of people felt it wasn't going to happen, but I, I think the belief in the players I've shown tonight and that they've pushed forward, that they've, they've taken the sting out of Dynamo getting forward, and overall they've been the, the far better side. And what a boost that is for Tony Mowbray. It's his second game in charge. Culloden. As this battle's over. <laughs> Celtic in the closing stages. That's a decent shot there and dealt with well by Boric. Kokloff waits for it. Kokomorov has proved that he's got a decent shot on him, proving it again. Kokloff sends it across. Celtic just need to clear again. Just taken and touched over the bar. Kerzakov that time. A great feeling for all the, the players there. They are under pressure. Good corner kick, deep to the back post. Good first touch. He sets himself up, and then hits the ball high over the crossbar. Now they can relax. There's the goalkeeper. And the ball is moving all over the place. Good kick, saved by Boric. If he'd stumbled and left it there, it was a goal. He's knocked it wide of the target. The scoreboard emblazoned on the far side. Dynamo Moscow nil. Celtic 2, McDonald and Samaras. Samaras battles for it. The additional time about to come to a close. Celtic will get the free kick. Nagiri and Rokshire. I think you've got to look at it overall. What a great team performance. Yeah. They had to have everyone on their game tonight. They've worked so hard. Change been made. Number six and off. Well, it seems like a fairly pointless change. Leandro Fernandez has been withdrawn. Says the end of the Romanian forward that's coming on. So much time already played. There was an injury in, in added time, so he'll add on another couple of minutes for that. Forward on to Scott Brown. Scott Brown. Once for Scotland next week. You can see Norway against Scotland live on the BBC as Samaras made a complete and memorable night. Thrashes it across. No takers. Interesting, the Celtic back four had just sat back, no longer need to go up and support. I know Celtic have done their job, and what a night it has been, and these players deserve all the applause and all the credit they are going to get. Scott McDonald and Georgia Samaras, the goal scorers. Tony Mowbray, the first Celtic manager to guide his side through after a first leg defeat. His second full game in charge, but he's made his own little bit of history. Magnificent for Celtic on the night. They win here by two goals to nil, 2-1 on aggregate, and it's Celtic who progress.